Are you looking for a natural substitute for prednisone? I completely understand why, because it causes more side effects than any other drug. So right now I'm going to go through natural substitutes for prednisone for people who are taking prednisone for asthma. If you're taking prednisone for another condition and you'd like me to cover natural substitutes, just comment below what those are. Okay. So prednisone is an anti-inflammatory and an autoimmune combating drug. It helps with the immune system and the inflammation. And both of those are affected in asthma. And so some natural substitutes for prednisone that I have found in the natural medicines database, it's an evidence-based database that's gone through the studies throughout the years to see what actually has evidence. And they have a rating of the most effective to the least effective things for different conditions. And it has to have a certain level of evidence to become effective or possibly effective. And they even have likely effective and possibly ineffective and then not effective. Okay. So in this situation, we're talking about the possibly effective natural substitutes for prednisone for people who are taking it for asthma. So first of all, we have black seed oil. Now, black seed oil has a lot of great evidence supporting its use in helping prevent asthma flares. The problem with black seed oil is it stinks really bad. I actually bought it for my children with asthma and thinking that they could use that. And they don't like using their inhalers and they'd rather just swallow a pill, but they couldn't, couldn't swallow it. It was just too strong. So while it's effective, it also has a really stinky, nasty taste to it. Next is magnesium. Magnesium doesn't have the greatest evidence to support its use, but magnesium in general is used for 300 different biochemical reactions in our bodies. And so if you are low in magnesium, it affects so much. It affects your sleep. It affects your muscles getting cramps. It affects your heart. It affects so many different things. And so supplementing with magnesium is usually harmless and you can just take as much until you're getting diarrhea. Essentially my favorite personal kind of magnesium is magnesium glycinate because it has a double whammy. It can help with replenishing magnesium, but then there's also the glycinate part. That glycine is an amino acid that helps you feel calm. So the combination really helps with people who are feeling like fluttery from having to use an asthma inhaler and things like that. Finally, the third alternative for prednisone that you might use in asthma is maritime pine bark extract. And this one doesn't have the greatest evidence, but it might work to help decrease your need for inhalers or the possibility of asthma flares. So those are the three natural substitutes for prednisone for people taking it for asthma. And then if you absolutely have to take prednisone for asthma and you're wondering, is there anything else I can possibly do to make the prednisone not so bad that's a natural substitute? I've got just the thing for you. It's called neutronized zone. It's meant to go along with prednisone to minimize how awful it is to make it. So what prednisone is stealing from your body in the form of calcium, vitamin D, chromium, magnesium, that you're replenishing it with this supplement. It's got that magnesium glycinate in there. So you don't even have to go out and buy that. If you just get this, it's all in one a complete support for you while you take prednisone. So you just go to neutronize.com to get it today. Signing off as Dr. Megan, your prednisone pharmacist.